Ladies and gentlemen, it is about damn time. It's going to go down in this ring. And without any further ado, making his way to the ring to mark his pro debut. First from Team Pavan, representing Nagaland, Nitsu, Checkmate Angami. It's about time indeed as we introduce one of Team Pavan Man's own, Nitsu Angami, making his way from Nagaland, Dimapur in Nagaland. Now this man is a special fighter. Not only did he, not only did he push his career forward by spending nights and days in the gym, he lived in the gym for a long time. He also comes from a proud warrior clan, the Nagas, they were known as a warrior class. And moving forward, he's looking to make his mark in the sport of MMA. Final instructions, final checks from the commission as at the Vaseline prep point, making sure that everything, all the, all the things are in place, the cup check, the mouth guard, checking of the gloves, all these things are important and the responsibility of the commission which is led by MMA One Federation. This is going to be a great lightweight contest between Team, team Pavan Man and Team Bharat Kandhare. Sohil Khan is his opponent who is going to be coming forward but coming back to uh, Angami Nitsu, he's got such a diverse background. He's an incredible striker. Look at the way the guy's built. He looks like he's been cut out of stone. He looks like a character out of a video game. But don't be fooled by those muscles. They are functional. He's carrying a lot of muscle mass on him right now and he has packing a lot of power. We're going to find out what strategy he employs against his opponent here tonight. And to take on Nitsu, making his way to the ring from Team Bharat, representing Mumbai, the Indian Eagle, Sohail Khan! And the crowd erupts for one of Mumbai's own, Sohail Khan, making his way from Mumbai in the city of Amchi, Mumbai, representing, of course, Mumbai's boy himself, Mumbai's Mulga Bharat Kanthare. He's got a lot of weight on his shoulders because he's got a lot to prove here. This man has taken his game from the streets to the cage. Standing at 178 centimeters, weighing in 69.45 kilograms, making his pro MMA nice debut, team. hailing from Nagaland, Nitsu Angami. <laughs> Introducing the fighter from the red corner, standing tall at 176 centimeters. Weighing 69.35 kilograms, holding a mixed martial arts record of two wins and zero loss, representing Team Bharat, hailing from Mumbai, Sohail Khan. <laughs> Over to the referee, let the fight begin. Fighter. Fighter. Follow my instructions. When I say fight, fight. When I say stop, stop. Have you clean fight, touch gloves, go back to your corner. Okay, judge one. Just two, just three, timekeeper, fighter ready, fighter ready, fight!
इसका एग्रेशन है मगर ये मार नहीं पा रहा उसका एग्रेशन है मगर वो अटैक नहीं कर पा रहा भाई ऐसे मार दो पानी नहीं मारना है पसीना भी पोस दो और हरे अप कम अप 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 वन स्टैंड अप स्टैंड अप आउट कौन Here we go. Action commences. Moving forward, 
Angami again looking to land those critical strikes to the body which seemed to have hurt Sohil Khan before. Immediately looking to come over the top with that right hand. Sohil Khan very, very tentative. He's standing. He cannot stand in one place because right now he is just a target here. He's getting chewed up by Angami. Sohil Khan needs to stick and move. He needs to get out of that corner, get off the fence and start mounting some offense of his own. Because right now, Angami is staring him down. He's waiting for his moment and waiting for his moment to strike. Good outside leg kick by Sohil Khan, but a big leg kick by Angami. See, that's the difference in the power. When Angami lands, you can see Sohil buckle. Sohil lands, Angami is taking it like a champ. Both these men incredibly conditioned to be able to take this kind of punishment. Another outside leg kick and he's landing them perfectly. You can see a big welt forming on the left leg of Sohil Khan. Nice inside leg kick to the calf. Both men trading leg kicks at this point. Another leg kick on the outside. He's looking. I, I think I figured out Angami's strategy. He's going to look to cripple his movement and that makes him an even more well stable target. Just missed with that overhand right. So close every time. He's getting closer and closer to those shots. But Sohil Khan needs to figure out a way to get out of that pocket. He needs to get out, circle out, circle away from the power of Angami. A shot to the body there. Oh, wow! That grazed his chin. Oh my God, that was so close. He's trying to time that right outside leg kick. Beautiful stinging jab by Angami. So Il Khan right now is doing the worst possible thing. He's backing up into his own corner. Ten seconds out for the end of round number two. But right now, Stop. it's all Angami. Corner. Ah. क्या है दे रहा है उधर उसको बावा रहा लेकिन ये देख के रोक रहा है वो देख के बैंड और आओ फटाफट फटाफट लेफ्ट में फॉलो करना चाहिए सीधा डाउन है वो सूखा मारो गीला मत मारो गीला मारोगे सीन को रोका भी ऊपर गलती से पंच मिनट पड़ गया तो तो इज़ नॉट अटैक क्यों नहीं कर रहा तू सीरिया म सोयल का मेरे को बहुत अच्छा स्किल लगा मगर वो सोयल में एनर्जी ज़्यादा है लेकिन वो डर रहा है पता नहीं उसका अंदर से डर आ रहा है डर क्यों आ रहा है नेचो 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 बाम फॉलो फॉलो सोयल Follow punch, Sohel! Sohel! Sohel, more power! Sohel! Coach now. Clean off, clean off. There we go, third and final round. And you can tell from the body language between both these men. Clean off! Angami, certainly the fresh of the two fighters. And Sohel Khan, a little worse for wear. He's taken some heavy, heavy shots in the last two rounds. One person, one person, one person. But he is in such great shape. You have to be in great shape and great condition to be able to take that kind of punishment. So Hil Khan, though, he's not a quitter. He's there to represent his team and a chance to have victory in this first match. Here we go, round number three. Angami versus Khan in the lightweight division. Fighter ready? Fighter ready? Fight! Here we go. Touch of gloves by both men, a sign of respect as we get underway. Again, Angami, the aggressor, takes the center of the ring and looking to land those brutal leg kicks that he's been landing all night long. In the first one, again, beautiful inside leg kick on cue. And Sohil Khan is still doing the same thing. In the first round, he had a lot of movement. He stayed away from Angami's power, but right now he is just a sitting duck. Angami is, is, is literally, this is shooting practice for him. Oh, look at this! Beautiful takedown attempt there, shot in perfectly for that double, but Angami saw it coming, defended it beautifully. And right now you can see Angami egging him on, saying, come on, come on, try and hit me. 
But Sohil Khan has got to be the smart. Oh man, that front leg tomorrow is going to be black and blue because he's it's taken a pounding. And you can see now Agami checking those leg kicks from Sohil Khan. Again, that outside leg kick and Agami doing sorry Sohil Khan doing nothing to defend it. He's not checking that outside leg kick. And now you can see it's affecting his mobility. He can't pivot off that left leg. And there you go. That's the last kick. And that hurt him. He shot him immediately. His shot, when you get damaged, when you damage your lead leg, you can't pivot off for power. So you can't reach in. You cannot, you cannot go low enough to get in for that takedown. There's a lot of things that you can't do. The bum leg. You can't put the pressure. You can't put the weight down on that front leg. Agami again with that leg kick. Over and over again. Trying to seal the deep with that one, two. Again, checks that kick from Sohil Khan. Agami constantly switching stances, changing his method of attack, changing his angle of attack. Punches and kicks come to you from different angles as you switch stances. Nice, beautiful stinging jab by Angami. He's got him back up. This has been the story of the last two rounds. Angami just picking him apart, slowly, methodically breaking down that leg, jab after jab after jab. And Sohil Khan trying his best to get out of that corner. But right now, he looks like he's out of options. Nice outside leg kick by Sohil Khan. Good defense by Angami. He's managed to stuff last two of Sohil's takedowns. Another leg kick, stifling leg kick, which is seriously, seriously affected the mobility of Sohil Khan. Sohil, though, a gamer trying to come back with a combination, but he just can't put weight on that leg. You can see he switched stances right now. And Angami looking for that big power shot, that big one-two that sends his opponent to the mat. Another inside leg kick. Good movement. Trying to egg Sohil Khan on. There we go. Trying to get him to come in. And that was a sloppy shot. You can see that Angami wants, wants none of it. He's not having any of it. He shrugged it off so comfortably. And it's all the damage that's been done by those leg kicks. Over and over again, Angami landed those leg shots. You can see his corner yelling instructions that Angami is saying, why are you letting him go? Stay on him, put the pressure on. He's hurt already. He's tired already. Oh, beautiful shot to the body, followed up by a right hand. And you can see a shot of desperation by Sohil Khan. Sohil, the amount of damage he's taken, he's breathing out of his mouth now. When a fighter breathes out of his mouth, it's an indication of him being gassed. His hands are low. He needs to be careful here because when your mouth is open, is the time where somebody is uh, very easy to get knocked out. And the crowd is after both these two warriors. They put everything on the line to put on a show here. And that's what the Kumite One Warrior Hunt is all about. To find that true champion and offer him the contract of a lifetime. A lot of fan support for Sohil Khan here. And he's going to need it if he needs to rally back some sort of offense. Angami, patient, staying patient here and happy to pick his shots. He's looking to headhunt at this point. He's abandoned those leg kicks, which did all the damage. But I think a couple of well-placed leg kicks right now could end this fight. Nice one-two again, trying to corner his opponent. Outside leg kick. And you can just see, Suhail Khan is exhausted. There's no zip and pep behind those shots. He's just trying to bait him. Oh, beautiful spinning back kick. You can see immediately Suhail Khan, his right hand dropped. Trying to protect his liver. He's hurt Stop. by that leg kick and you can see him wincing. But what a warrior and what a fight we had, ladies and gentlemen. Incredible action in this amazing, amazing lightweight division. Wow. Agami versus Sohil Khan. What a fight. The crowd is on their feet. And we're going to find out who's the winner is, who's going to be the winner as this fight goes to the judges' scorecard. that got real, really, really fast. <coughs> For everybody who's watching there, it was, it was unreal. I'm directly gonna go to Anna. What is your reaction after seeing this first fight? 
I think brilliant. Uh, uh, both the fighters uh, fought well, great skills. But somewhere down the line, I felt uh, Sohail was missing eye contact. Sohail was missing eye contact, though he did have a lot of energy. He, he, there was a lot of punching that he did without actually looking at his opponent. And when you don't look, look at your opponent, you don't know the distance that carries. So you lose a lot of your energy hitting in midair. Netso, ko maine dekha to Netso ne apna pura skill jo hai uska istemal kiya kicks, sweeps, punches. Main chahta ki Netso follow up agar karta kick ke saath saath jab thighs pe ya inner thigh pe ya sweep karne ki koshish ki uske left ke saath follow karta to the result would have been probably faster for him. Lekin Sohail ne apni skill ka istemal nahi kiya kahin na kahin ruke rahe. Uh, confused tha ki mein grab karu, kya karu, but brilliant. Both of them are outstanding. Dono ne teen round pure lade, very, very good. Lekin I think yaha advantage net so, wo sirf aur sirf is liye kyunki jis atmosphere se, jis mahal mein wo training karta hai, which is, which is nature. I think kahi na kahi stamina mein he outlasted the opponent. That's my, uh, uh, vision and my, my view of the entire fight. But uh, I think kabhi kabhi jo bolte na, high altitude ho, ya interiors mein jab aap train karte ho, aapke paas facilities nahi hoti hai, takleefe zada hoti hai, jab takleefe zada hoti hai, tab aap jab ring mein aate ho, to wo aapka advantage ban jata and that is why I feel it's a huge advantage for him. Great job, both the coaches, both the fighters, brilliant. Yeah, conditioning I think outlasted. That's fantastic. Mr. Budwani, what do you want to say? Very good fight. Both are good fights. But Nitsu, you did a lot of good fights. You were attacking from the beginning. And you had seen your original passion, the original fight. The original Nitsu, the tribal one, that was shown. Sohail, you were playing a lot of शुरुआत में बहुत अच्छा खेल रहे थे, but पता नहीं आप क्यों डर गए? आपको किस चीज़ का डर था? आप अटैक भी कर रहे थे, डिफेंड भी कर रहे थे, कुछ समझ में नहीं आ रहा था और आपका आई कांटेक्ट निचू के साथ नहीं था, but you had a very good chance to आपने बहुत सारे चांस छोड़ दिए जिसमें आप इसको निचू को गिरा सकते थे, आप don't worry, next time, don't worry. He's scared, he's scared, he's scared, he's scared, he's scared, he's scared, he's scared. Very good game, guys, very good. It's time to announce the winner, ladies and gentlemen. By unanimous decision, the satsport.com winner is from the blue corner, Mitzel Checkmate Algarve!